time out for better hair. Well, we've had a taste of winter already. Can you feel it in your dry skin and hair? Jay Roberts at Blaze International Salon shows us things you can do at home to winterize your hair. I'm here with Jay Roberts at Blades International Salon. You have six things we need to do to winterize our hair. First thing, shampoo less. And if you're afraid of it, reverse shampoo it. Conditioner first, then add shampoo right over the conditioner. Lather, rinse it out. Great yeah. for keeping in moisture and really keeping the hair nice. Love skipping shampooing. Okay, <laughs> next, we need to moisturize with oils. Sure, Moroccan oil comes in two different types, a regular, and a light. This is great to work into the scalp, keeps the scalp moisturized so you prevent dry scalp. And we shouldn't leave our hair wet. Do not leave your hair wet. Wet hair stretches and then when you leave the hot bathroom and go out into the cold and let your hair dry naturally, it causes breakage quicker. Oh, I would have thought it was better not to dry it, but it, mm -hmm. we do need to use less heat, you say? Less heat, and you want to just quickly blow dry. Try to dry your hair as much as you can in the towel, but if you have to dry, use a great heat protectant. One of my favorites is the F450. This can be for flat irons, curling irons, blow dryers. It's awesome, it protects the hair tremendously. Okay, that's by Redken, nice. And we should take dryer sheets. Dryer sheets, <laughs> my favorite thing in the winter. For Remember? what? through the hair, okay. gets rid of the static, okay. it's awesome. So one of my favorite things in the you'll winter. You'll smell nice too. And you'll smell just like a, a breeze. <laughs> and we want to use a mask. A mask is great, yep. A great mask is awesome because you really want to keep the proteins and the moisture in your hair during the winter. Okay, we have some at-home remedies that everyone has in their kitchens and this can make a huge difference. Butter? Butter, butter is awesome. So what you wanna do is you wanna put it in, melt it down a little bit, rub it into the scalp, leave it in for a couple of minutes, then shampoo and condition as you regularly do. This will moisturize your scalp, help with dry scalp, and actually give your hair a little bit of luster. Okay, and so just melt the butter in the microwave a little bit first. Yep, like three tablespoons, melt it down, work it into the scalp. Avocados and eggs? Avocado and eggs is the best. It restores shine and the fatty acids and the omegas that are in the avocado actually give your hair more bounce and luster. Another great use for apple cider vinegar? Apple cider vinegar, olive oil, and egg whites. It's awesome. So you want a teaspoon, two tablespoons, and then the three egg whites. Whisk them up really good, work it through your hair, a cap for 30 minutes, and next, vitamin E? Oh, this is great. So I call this the steam it trick. Vitamin E, coconut oil, olive oil. Mix them all together, then take a towel, dip it in hot water, squeeze it out, wrap your hair in that hot towel with that combination in a plastic bag. Beautiful. What it does is it promotes moisture, cleanses dry scalp, and creates more blood flow to your scalp so your own oils essentially can rise to the surface. So it's great. To just kind of crack open the vitamin E capsules, how many? I usually like three of them in there. Three and then like a tablespoon each yep. of the oils. Exactly. Mix it all together, put it on. Wonderful. Love tea in the winter, but I don't know how to use it for hair. <laughs> okay. So chamomile tea is great for blondes. You steep this in a nice warm cup of water. Pour this over your hair, leave it in your hair just for a couple of minutes. It's great for blondes. It enhances the color and creates shine. Brunettes, you want to go to a black tea. Same thing. It enhances the color of the brunette and the shine. Okay. And obviously you want to make sure the tea is cooled down so you don't Definitely burn yourself. So you don't burn yourself. Okay. And bananas and eggs? Bananas and eggs are great. Okay. So what you want to do is you want to mash a banana, put an egg in, strengthens the hair, okay? Because of the calcium and the proteins together and the fatty acids of the egg yolk, it strengthens the hair. And finally, what happens if we put an egg and a yogurt together? It's like a egg and hair yogurt. smoothie. It's like a hair smoothie, exactly. <laughs> it nourishes the hair, it gives it tons of proteins, it creates shine. It's a great mask to just keep your hair looking really, really healthy over the winter. These are fun things you can do at home as the days are getting colder, and it's also reasonable because a lot of times we have this at home. Exactly. It's all, the only thing here is really in your kitchen already. So there you go. Thanks so much, Jay. <laughs> there you go. Beauty in your cabinet. For more information, follow Blades International Salon on Facebook and Instagram. You can also visit them at 1845 Salestine Highway in Rocky Hill, right near Coles. Pass the butter. I gotta put it in my hair. That's it, what I'm gonna say at the Thanksgiving table.